hello community i hope you are doing good in this discussion we will see what is active underscore id and how you can use that active underscore ids in the context side and in case you missed previous discussion about how to use context in the python side with the different test cases please check link is given in the description and if you want to learn more about odoo you can visit the weblens channel under the playlist you can see different types of playlist available with the different topic wise with the real test cases and in case you need any support related odoo you can visit the about page and send your query to this email address source code also available in the github make sure you can follow to get the latest notification so let's back to our main topic like what is active underscore id so as a simple terminology if you are doing some operations in the wizard level or in any any of the operations and you want to get the current models record set what you are performing the operation during this time context automatically pass that specific record set id plus that model name in the context and then after you can perform any kind of operations so that is the active underscore id and active underscore ids so here the question is what is the difference between these two right active underscore id and active underscore ids so simple if you select the single record and if you are doing some operations so here in the context it will pass the single id this uh, this record set id in the active underscore id plus it will also pass another key which is active underscore ids which contains the list of ids so here in this case it will pass only the id of this file plus the active model id so active model id is this one the school dot student now let's say if i will try to select this all the records and i want to get in back end side so what happened here is the first record whatsoever we selected it will goes to the active underscore id and after that in the active underscore ids it will store all these ids so let's check in the back end side right so for that like let me go to in the wizard which we already created in our wizard session so this is the method we can try to uh, get the active underscore id plus active underscore ids you can see here we already used active underscore ids but now this time we will try to understand more about the context and these keys okay so here simple i will try to uh, sorry let me debug this pycharm in case you don't know how to configure odoo in pycharm i already explained in the previous session please check editor level playlist i already explained how to configure so here let's say i will perform only one operation for the single record set right and i will try to open this wizard and simple i will click to here this button now here i will try to let's say access the context if you don't know how to access the context in the python side please check last session i already explained including the keys the default keys so here in this case if you compare with the last session we are getting some more keys here so which is this one active underscore id active underscore ids and active underscore model so here what is the difference between active id and the active underscore ids now you can see clearly in active underscore id it stores the integer value and that integer value is the record set id the database id and here in the active underscore id contains the list of integer values and in this integer value it contains the multiple record set ids and now another thing is active underscore model so what is it so whatsoever you are performing the operations in the front end side i mean here so in the url side you can see the model right the school dot student so this model it will pass in the context and it says like active underscore id sorry the model so this is the model so what is the model name school dot student 
so this file id i mean this file fifth record set if you see in the database right or in the in this record set you can see in this context if you want to access this selected specific record set using the active underscore id or the active underscore ids now let's say if i will select multiple record set here and now i will try to perform the same operation here right and here i will try to use the self underscore context right and it you can see here the difference here it contains only the single record set the first one and after that active underscore ids you will see a list of integer values which is the record set ids the student ids right here and now let's say if i will try to get the student profile uh, let's say this model record set right so here simple i will try to use like self underscore context dot active underscore model browse and i will use here active underscore ids oh sorry it's my bad let's say self dot underscore context and here like this way you can get the active underscore ids Uh, sorry so you can see the record set like this okay and another thing is how you can get the active underscore ids right so simple you can use like simple like self dot underscore context id active underscore ids or or like this right and simple if you remove this s it will only return the active underscore id all right like this and those are the actual ids what you selected in the tree view and if you want to see like what is the model name so you can simple type here active underscore model and it will return that model name the current model name right so if you see here the self only so self is the wizard and with the fourth id right so this model is different sorry it's automatically disable this debugger so yeah let's say here the self is different model and active dot context dot get oh, sorry self dot env dot context right and this active underscore model is also different so here this fifth id is not the wizard id and this active underscore ids is not also the wizard id this is the what you selected in the tree view those id is available here in the backend side using the context and here if you see this code right let me stop this one and let me active the normal process now you can see here in this profile self.env the school student profile I want to update active ID whatsoever we selected the records I want to update total fees right so whatsoever we provide in the wizard so simple it will do like this uh, you can see here all the students total fees is same right here let's say I, I want to change in a bulk let's say like this 78,900 so here you can see 78,900 automatically updated in all the selected records so for example if i want to select only these three and i want to update let's say only 100 right so it will only change 
only those selected records only updated the fees. I hope you understood the difference between active underscore ID and active underscore IDs, how you can access from the context and uh, based on the active underscore IDs, how you can also perform the crude operation like this, right? But there is no any limitations here. You can also use the server action or client action based on that. You can also perform the same operation, okay? I hope you understood more about the context and in the context, you already understood the active underscore ID and the active underscore IDs. If you have any doubt related to this topic, please comment below and see you in our next session.